Alright, today we'll be installing the NZXT Sentry 2 touchscreen fan controller. You can control up to 5 fans with this controller right here. Let's take a look at the packaging. Let's unbox it. Okay, now let's show you how to install the Sentry 2 fan controller on your computer. First we take it out of the package and we have a couple of connections. These ones are the sensors. The black and red cables are the sensors, heat sensors. The yellow and black cables are the power cables that will connect to the fans, to the five fans. And the black power connector is the input, power input for the fan controller itself okay so this goes into your regular 3.5 inch bay it's gonna depend on your case choice how you install this in this case we just slide it and then press this uh, this key in the in the case most of the time you will need to use some kind of screws to keep it on in place so let's do that right now let's slide it in there the best way we can
so let's all get all the cables out all the cables where they have to go let's unwrap all the cables This is the power cable, the power input that will go into the centrifugal controller. We need to uh, connect this to the power supply. Like that. It's a standard connector, so it's your usual. Okay. Now we have power coming in the fan controller and these ones are the power output this one will distribute the power to the different fans we have in the system inside the case we, so we have fan 1, fan 2, fan 3, fan 4 and fan 5 so let's use let's go for fan 1 with the exhaust fan and you have two types of connections two different kind, kind of pin, number of pins let's use the small one Let's go for fan 2 now. With the chassis fan. Right there. Awesome. And just repeat the process with the different fans inside your case. All right, now these are the heat sensors. They, they're numbered as well, one through five. So let's uh, peel the cables a little bit get some uh, clearance and these ones will go the, you match the sensor to the fan power cable so let's say uh, the power cable was fan 1 the sensor will be sensor number 1 you could put this as near as possible to the fan so you can measure the temperature coming out of the chip uh, the bridge or the hard drive whatever you're uh, um, trying to cool down right well it has some extra sensors I'm not sure why okay so we peel it off it has um, this sticker we took the plastic cover out of the sensor and now we're ready to stick it with this um, tape that comes included right now we're doing fan one which is the north bridge where the nine series chip is uh, installed so we stick it to the heat dissipators on top just like that okay right there and it should show after we turn on the computer this will show us fan number one will give us the temperature the speed of the fan everything in there now let's try uh, sensor number two this will be the input output chip the south bridge part of the computer where the intake fan is just need to put that right there and you repeat the process with every other part of the computer that you're calling down maybe the the processor uh, the solid state drives or the hard drives uh, your choice
Alright, now let's turn on the computer and let's turn on our fan controller. As you see, the LCD lights up. It's a touch screen LCD, so you can control it right there. Alright, so what we have here in the screen is the five fans, the percentage, speed, and the temperature over there in centigrade. Okay, now uh, you, you have the plus and minus sign to speed up or slow down the fan. If you press the temperature once and keep pressing it, it will go into Fahrenheit. Again, you press it once, keep pressing it for a couple of seconds, it will show you the temperature in centigrade. That's always useful. Okay, now if you press the, the fan icon, it will move to the next fan and the next sensor, of course. Fan 4, fan 5. Uh, one more time, I'll show you all of the fans. Press it once again, it goes to fan 1. So that's, uh, well, fan 1. If you press minus, it will slow down the fan. If you press plus, it will speed up the fan. That's how you control the fans from here. Alright. Now, if you press on the temperature once, it will start blinking, which means uh, you can set up an alarm. If you set up a, an alert, what is the maximum temperature you want to achieve? And when it reaches that temperature, it will beep, give you an alarm alerting you that your component, your computer component is heating up, is uh, overheating, basically. There's also this key for manual or automatic. Automatic will be default, manual is what you set up yourself. This key here turns off the screen. You press the screen again, I will turn on. This other key on the upper left will set the values to default, all the fans. So basically this is how to unbox and how to install your NCXT Sentry 2 fan control. I hope this is helpful. Peace and out.